The EU is moving toward organic, increasing its land under organic farming to 25% by the year 2030. To satisfy the growing organic market, organic plant breeding needs to advance. New organic varieties are required that can adapt to the specific needs of organic farming. These varieties should be disease resistant, good at weed suppression, adapt easily to climate change, use nutrients efficiently, have great nutritional quality and taste, and be free from any form of genetic engineering. In this video, we explain organic plant breeding and its contribution to food production. Producing a new organic plant variety takes 8 to 15 years and involves the following steps. Defining the breeding objective, then choosing the parental plants and combining them by crossing. After the evaluation of the crossing, selecting promising breeding lines and stabilizing the traits over several generations. Before any seed of a new variety can be sold, it's tested and approved by public agencies using official tests. But these tests are conducted in non-organic research stations. EU-funded projects like LiveSeed are helping to advance protocols for testing under organic conditions. The seed-to-seed -seed production cycle varies greatly among crops. For spinach, it takes four months. For onions, one and a half years. For carrots, two years. If a farmer wants to sell a pack of organic seed, both the seed and the production itself need to be certified. Because producing organic seed is more expensive and involves more risks for the grower, organic products cost more. Organic plant breeding, however, is not just about price, nor only an issue for farmers. It improves the efficiency of the entire sector, providing new robust varieties fit for the present and for the future needs of organic farming. Sustainable development, society, nature, agriculture, value chains, and markets are all interrelated. New breeding models, like the systems-based breeding developed in the Live Seed Project, are rethinking the relationship around organic plant breeding and seed production. What we breed today will be on our plates in 10 to 15 years. You can support organic plant breeding by purchasing seed and products of organic varieties.